Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about finance ring. So this is the question I request you student, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words. This is because self-evaluation is essential for improvement. So I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now. As usual, I first request you student, please read the question again. So this is actually aromatic moiety named as phenanthrin. Uh, so it's reacted with chromium trioxide. This is room temperature, 60 minutes and in glacial acetic acid. So reaction of this phenanthrin with chromium trioxide in acetic acid medium. What is the product? Actually from this thing you can understand this chromium trioxide in acetic acid medium is nothing but an oxidizing agent. So this is actually a ox, um, oxidation reaction. So how that oxidation reaction will happen let us learn. Now the mechanism is that first in case of this chromium trioxide and in acid what it will happen that it will oxidize this compound into the corresponding diol. So you may consider actually this is a dihydroxylation reaction first. So in this case it is diol and by the way this is also a secondary alcohol because there are two hydrogens. I mean initially there were two hydrogens previously. So these two hydrogens. So now in the second phase if you look at this this is actually a secondary alcohol we know that secondary alcohol got oxidized in presence of this chromium 6 reagent in presence of acidic medium and produces carbonyl. So in this both sides are converted into dicarbonyl. Now reaction stops here. Why? Because see the reaction condition 60 minutes room temperature not that much drastic. So reaction will end up at this stage. Now, in this context, student, one concept you should know that is the double bond fixation of phenanthrin. What uh, do I mean? If you look at this molecule phenanthrin, this double bond have some double bond fixation character. Why this fixation word comes? Because if you look at benzene here, all the double bonds are delocalized. De that's why this benzene has a resonance energy 36 kilocalorie per mole because if you compare benzene versus simple cyclohexene you can in this case you can clearly predict that what is the position of this double bond but in case of benzene or double bond is delocalized all over this ring okay you can't say this is one two this you can't say that double bond is in between one two or two three no it's equal but in this case phenanthrin this double bond is localized this one double bond here why because if you look at the resonance energy of benzene 36 kilocalorie per mole resonance energy of naphthalene 91 kilocalorie per mole and resonance energy of this biphenyl 71 kilocalorie per mole what do i mean so if you react this double bond selectively for example you do oxidation then this double bond is gone i mean that conjugation is gone then what is left these two rings so this part is actually a biphenyl system so in this case what is the loss of re you can see loss of re is actually 91 minus 71 so near about you can consider that 20 kilocalorie per mole so these resonance energy loss is significantly less less compared to the overall resonance energy, that is 97 or 71. So that's why these double bond have some partial or fixed double bond character and that's why it reacts with chromium trioxide not only that if you react this with bromine it will react. So these double bond behaves similar like a alkene rather than a arene or benzene type. So that is the uniqueness of this double bond and this is called as 910 double bonds. Okay. So this is the overall discussion about the concept and you can see this is the reference where I got the resonance energy of biphenyl which is 71 kilocalorie per mole. Now, so what is the answer of today's discussion? Answer of today's discussion is option B. 
Now a question is why not the other or if this question is provided in your exam, how could you end up the right answer less than 30 seconds. First of all you need to understand this is actually oxidation in acidic medium. So this is true but this is a Warch reduction type, no that is gone, point number one second that oxidation will happen but it will involve means the loss of resonance energy will be minimum. Here two rings these naphthalenes are in near about more than 60 so not possible I, I guess the exact thing is near about 61 so that is not possible so it is not possible based on the same concept this is not possible full anthrocene got oxidized. So from this thing what is ultimately left option B. So based on this common sense also you can you can come up the right answer in less than 30 seconds. So in conclusion what you have learned that resonance energy is actually a delocalization energy it indicates the stabilization of the molecule. Now increase the number of aromatic ring in a conjugated system reduces the resonance energy with respect to par benzene ring. For example if you look at benzene it is 36. So, in case of naphthalene what we can expect it, that it should be 72 but it is actually 61. So, some less compared to 72. So, with respect to par benzene ring, par benzene ring the RE reduces. Now, phenanthrin shows the double means shows the double bond nature of that means that fixation of that double bond like alkene type nature like isolated alkene on the 9th and 10th position and chromium trioxide is a good oxidizing agent due to its higher oxidation state of chromium that is plus 6 and so that is why it is acting as a mild and selective oxidizing reagent and the last one is in presence of acid the oxidizing power increases why. For example, if you see this is chromium oxide so triple bond now in presence of acid what you can expect that these proton these oxygen will be protonated to from a protonated species. Now, protonation on this oxygen will increase that that chromium will face more electron deficiency because oxygen is electronegative atom it is having a positive charge so it will prefer to withdraw more electron density and from where from the central chromium atom. So consequently this chromium atom will be more electron deficient consequently its reactivity will increase because the mechanism of oxidation involves the coordination of the ligand with chromium center I have already uh, discussed in dedicated lectures please visit for better understanding. Now this is the end of the discussion I believe this video may be useful I request you if this video is helpful please help this channel to grow and if possible please visit my another channel. So thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye.